Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I used these mirrors in a previous project. That's why this one is already silver and I already covered up the mirrors and I'm going to use this silver metallic spray paint that I purchased from Home Depot to cover both of them. I'm using these candle holders to help me stack my mirrors. For this next step, I'm filling the bottom of my candle holder with these acrylic gems along with these string LED lights. For this part, you don't need to layer it. I was layering mines. I added the gems first, then added the string lights, then the gems and so on. But you can simply add the gems first, then add the string lights next. This part got a little tricky because I wanted the gems to reach the top of this candle holder as much as possible. So that's why I added some gems into this candle holder. Then I also added the remainder of the string lights that was left over into this candle holder. I'm just stacking as many gems as I can because I want it to reach the top of the other candle holder. This part was tricky as well because this glue dries really fast, but you guys will see in a second exactly what I did to make sure that it was glued together. I used these small beads and acrylic gems in a previous project and I'm just reusing them for this project. So this is exactly how I'm making sure both of my candle holders are bonded together. To add some detail, I'm just placing these gems at the bottom. Then I'm going to put a couple gems in the other candle holder, then glue the other mirror on. I'm actually gonna remove these gems so I can flip this over to show y'all exactly how I glued the string and the battery pack down. Be sure to hold your string in place until the glue dries. You want to be sure you have access to the side with the batteries and you don't want to wrap your string around your battery pack like I did so you can be able to change your batteries. And I only did it that way because I will be taking this project apart and reusing some of these items. I'ma just add those gems back to the top and bottom and then I will be right back to show y'all the final look. This can be displayed as a centerpiece. Or you can use it for a candle holder. Or you can just place knickknacks on top or whatever you may choose. I'm really loving how this turned out, but comment down below and let me know what you think.
Okay, so for project number two, I got these four Dollar Tree mirrors and I'm just flipping them all over and then I'm going to put them together to make a flower box. I'm using wood blocks to help me stabilize my mirrors. Now I'm using my silver sharpie to trace the letters of my name. These letters don't have to be perfect because once I glue the beads down, they will be straight. I'm just using these letters as a guide. I'm adding the beads with the acrylic gems on them to the four corners. And I'm gonna also glue some beads on the sides. I'm gonna cut a square out of this felt roll to cover my floral foam piece. This Lazy Susan ties in with project number two and I purchased this from Dollar Tree in the $5 owl. I'm covering this entire Lazy Susan with this premium black acrylic paint that I purchased from Dollar Tree. A few minutes later, this is how it's looking and that's okay that you can still see the detail on it and I'm just going to place these gems around the entire perimeter. I'm not going to glue them down because I will be using this in a future project. I think all of this week's projects was a complete success. I'm really loving my name, Flower Box. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.